I don't know if I took too much. Oh my god, I definitely took too much. Oh my god. Why did I do that? <laughs> Good morning guys. I'm currently making some breakfast, about to take a walk. I'm scrambling up some eggs, cheese, and hash browns. My usual breakfast scramble for two smart points and it's super filling and very yummy. All right guys, it's a cold, cold morning. It's like 32 right now, which is cold for November. I have my winter coat. My Fabletics Motion 365, my favorite fabric. Ooh, I'm on a chromatic today. Um, right. I'm gonna go listen to a podcast and forget about the world. Okay guys, I am back from my walk. I actually am super proud of myself because today I did my first five miles. Um, the longest I've walked is four miles. On the day to day I do like two or three depending on like what I'm going on or just how I'm feeling. But today I just had a lot of anxiety and I was really enjoying a podcast and walking and I'm like, I'm gonna push myself. So my first five miles, it took I think like an hour and 45 minutes. So it feels good to be home. It's very cold, but it was really nice. Um, so we got a couple packages I thought I'd open while we were here. I am excited to try this with you guys today because I saw this on TikTok um, and this girl said it was like a miracle cream. It had like a ton of views um, and a lot of great response. So I Googled it and looked into it. So it's from Dr. Jart. It's the Sika pair. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> Tiger grass color correcting treatment. Neutralizes redness, protects skin, improves skin appearance to be more vibrant and it has SPF in it, which is great. So I definitely have like redness in my skin. I've always had like redness and I always look for like brightening and redness reducing treatments. And the girl literally like put it on and it like neutralized all of her redness. Like it was just really pretty magical. So yeah, not only does it neutralize redness, but it also protects your skin. So we're gonna see if it works on me today. I also wanted to show you guys what I grabbed during the Sephora sale. It's really rare, as you guys know, only twice a year Sephora does their sale. Mama had to take part and stock up on my favorites that are pricey and it's like, oh my God, if I can get them on sale, that's a miracle. So I did pick up another one of my absolute favorite mascaras. This is the Urban Decay Lash Freak. Love this mascara. Like you can build them so, so long and they're not clumpy, like ugh. I don't know how it doesn't have better reviews. Works for me though. So I also want to try this First Aid Beauty Bump Eraser, because I have a lot of bumps on my arms. I feel like a lot of people have that like upper arm, little tiny red dot bumps. I especially get them more during the change of seasons. So. Um, safe for sensitive skin and I really trust First Aid Beauty. They're very like, I don't want to say medicinal, but like they're very careful. Like they're fragrance free, they're sensitive safe. So um, I'll let you guys know. It's not for your face, it's for your body. I grabbed another one of my favorite face powders, the Too Faced Born This Way. I grab this every time there's a Sephora sale because I'm actually out. I just ran out of my favorite. Well, it's one of my favorites. I have a few favorite foundations, but the Dior Air Flash. It's pricey, but so good. And you know, getting it to 20% off, I'm like, hell yeah. Um, I am the shade 3.5N. Um, it's water resistant, 12 hour wear, but it just, it looks so natural. It just, oh, it wears so well. It's so beautiful. Like I'll probably wear this for our wedding or maybe double wear, just cause it's a little more oil controlling. But why are there so, there's a huge bug, a huge, huge bug on the curtain. It's cold and like we've had like these weird big bugs like all summer. I don't know if they're like stink bugs, I think. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I wanted to try something from the new Makeup by Mario makeup line. So I got the Master Matte Brightening Eye Pencil. So it's like a brightening under eye pencil because you know I love that to make my eyes look bigger. And my hands, my hands have been so insanely dry like unbelievably um with the season change and like 
I don't know. So I have heard really good things about this brand Necessaire, I believe is how you pronounce it. The packaging is nice and super simple. It's fragrance free. It is to moisturize, nourish, and protect. It's got a bunch of vitamins and it even says what pH it is. Interesting, pH 5.5 to 6.5, um, but it had great reviews. I love a good hand cream. I keep one in my office and I always put some on. Oh, I like the packaging. It's very just like minimal and neutral. So I've heard good things about the brand. So let's try the hand cream. It's nice and thick. I like when they're thick, but not like greasy, you know? Like there's a difference between being hydrating and not greasy and greasy. Oh my God, it's so nice. Yep, it's fragrance free. It feels so good. Like you can tell it has like sort of an emollient feel. Like it's it feels hydrating, but it does not feel greasy. That's really good. Very excited about that. And I always, grab like a huge one of my scissors shampoo and conditioner during the sale just about to finish the one from my Ulta video so I just grabbed two of my big old Pureologies um, the Pureology hydrate is one of my favorites um, I have a lot of favorite hair care I do but Pureology is one of them one of my favorites so yeah that's all I grabbed just basically like necessities and I wanted to try this so anyway that's all I wanted to show you guys I have some editing to do today so I'll catch you guys later okay guys good morning um I am gonna take my fertility test again because if you missed it I think I just talked about it on a live once or in a Q&A or something but my the fertility test I did it's my fault I did not put enough blood on the strip so i need to do another one <laughs> and i have i'm on the day three of my period i have fasted you know i've not drank anything this morning bags ready at least now i've done this already so i know what to expect you just have to like fill it to this first line here and mine went past that but it wasn't blood it was like kind of like watery sorry that's gross so activate my test um, I'm doing this on modern fertility I saw an ad for them on Instagram and I thought it was really cool that you could like look into your fertility at home just to like you know plan for the future and all that um, because you know we're just figuring out our future and I'm curious I have never had like my fertility hormones or anything like that checked so all right my kit is activated fast for eight hours before oh I'm supposed to drink a big glass of water I forgot hold on okay it's bright and early it's literally like 7 15 okay so so you get a little prep pad it's just like alcohol I think they recommend the middle finger or the ring finger. It's like a small little prick. The first time I did it, I had Yar help me. I'm just, now that I know what to expect, I'm just gonna go for it. All right, guys, if you don't like blood, look away for like two seconds, but I did it, got it past the line, and I can't wait to get these results back. It's been a long time coming now since I <laughs> didn't do it right the first time. You gotta let those dry. They give you a little pack to send it back um, in the mail. I just had the most delicious breakfast burrito and I forgot to vlog it, but I did put a picture on my second Instagram. It was so good. It was like an Olay wellness wrap, then um, two eggs, turkey sausage crumbles, fat-free cheddar, and some shredded hash browns. And I put some sriracha mayo. Oh my God. So good, only six points. Super filling. So I'm heading up to do some computer work, but I'm in the mood for just a little cozy morning treat. So I'm gonna make myself a little hot chocolate. These actually only have three points too.
Okay guys, so I just realized that I haven't tried this. I opened it yesterday. So I just put in some dry shampoo, trying to fix myself up for you. Threw in just a little brow gel and see how good that mascara is, the Lash Freak. Really good. I mean, I've also been working on growing my lashes. Um, for a while I was using Lash Food uh, last year. And lately I've been using the Dime Beauty one. So my lashes are getting better and I think that helps. So I've already done my moisturizer and it just says apply a moderate amount after your moisturizer. So this is what it looks like out of the package. It looks very like medical. So naturally I expected it to have a green hue because it's supposed to neutralize redness. I don't know if I took too much. Oh my God, I definitely took too much. Oh my God. Why did I do that? I mean, I said to take a moderate amount and I know. I will say though, the girl I watched in the video put on a lot. So you guys can let me know how it looks on camera, but looking at myself in the mirror in person, it neutralizes so much redness without any foundation. It almost looks like I put on a tinted moisturizer because I mean, I have acne scarring and marks, but if I didn't have those, like I would feel totally just content with my bare face. <laughs> like just having that redness toned down, it kind of just evened me out a little bit. And I love that there's SPF. I love that it protects your skin. So I just, I don't know, I like it. I think it helped a lot. Let me know what you guys think. Um, just for those days where you don't feel like putting on foundation or CC cream or BB cream, whatever, but you just wanna look a little less red. All right guys, so I actually just got back from a walk and it is hot. So today it's 65, <laughs> but in the sun it's like 75. Honestly, I have on fleece joggers, the ones I got from Airy. I am sweating, like actually sweating. So I'm gonna take a shower. It's also time to wash my hair. I wash my hair probably twice a week. Let me know how often you wash your hair. Dry shampoo is my bestie. So I got an Instagram ad for these and I wanted to let you guys know, are they worth it? How are they? So my Turby Twist isn't here, but I normally use a Turby Twist to dry my hair. It's like you know, they've been around since we were kids. They're these microfiber cloths that like you flip over and then they twist and you have to tie in the back to like dry your hair more quickly. So these are called mauves and they also apparently dry your hair super quick. So I just got one to test out, but like the outside is silk. And the cool thing is you can also wear it inside out to like protect your hair and your curls if you have curly hair. Um, it's like, cause you know, silk's really like good for your hair, maybe to sleep in it with the silk side. So very cool. I got this beautiful color here. <laughs> it's like an elevated derby twist. So it has a gold button. So like I said, you know, you flip your head over, put your hair in it, twist, 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 pull it over and then secure this over the button. Yeah, so inside, it's microfiber cloth. It feels just like the Turby Twist. You know, microfiber has that, that same feeling. I don't really like the way it feels, but it does dry your hair more quickly. Um, so I love that this is multi-purpose and that you can use the silk side. Like if you sleep and your hair gets frizzy and you need to preserve your style overnight. So I'm gonna take my shower and then we'll see how it is. Don't worry, I have a towel on, but here's my after shower routine. Um, I just threw in some moisturizer. I've been using this one and then the Moisture Balm, Balm, Moisture Balm from Belief. That one's in my office. This is the First Aid Beauty one because my skin is super dry. So this is the leave-in spray I use from Pureology. Um, the 21 Essential Benefits Multitasking Leave-In Spray. And I just spray it from like the mid shaft to my ends. This is great because it helps with detangling and then I detangle with my wet brush. All right, so this is just beautiful. <laughs> 
honestly. So you flip your head over. Ooh, I will say, this one is a lot bigger than the Turby Twist. A lot bigger. Like, there's a lot more room. Because when I had long hair, I remember mine wouldn't fit in the Turby Twist. This one has a lot more room. Ooh. She's glamorous. <laughs> this one is really nice <laughs> and I won't lie when I have dry hands like change of seasons my hands are so dry when I touch microfiber it like gets caught on it like the dry skin it's very unpleasant <laughs> so I like that this one has the silkiness I love it <laughs> I'll let you guys know another time if I use the silk side to help preserve my curls with frizz or anything Oh, there's nothing better than an exfoliating, shaving, hair washing shower, like the full shower. All right, guys, so it is hours later. I wanted to hop on here and give you guys a little update on the Mauve hair towel. Um, I really, really like it. Um, I will say, I feel like it actually did work better than the Turpy Twist. Don't know if it's in my head, but I think it did. Um, like, I had it on, and it stayed on better, too. That is something I will say. I don't know if it's because it was bigger, um, but it stayed on so much better. Like normally when I wear the other one, like as I'm, because I usually wear it while I'm doing chores and stuff or working or going around the house, I don't know, whatever. Um, and normally it will slowly start to slide down the back of my head. Um, and this one stayed in place. I had it on for like two or three hours, maybe two and a half. Um, and when I took it off, my hair was like 60, 70% dry. Uh, I was very impressed. And I just took it off and let my hair air dry the rest of the way to give it a little um, break from heat. But um, yeah, <laughs> I liked it a lot. Uh, I just wanted to hop on here and say, I know it's a stressful time right now and I'm sending you guys a lot of love. Um, and I know the anxiety can feel like a lot. So take some time and do something for you, whether that's watching your favorite show, doing some meditation. I recently have gotten back into meditation um, I use Headspace. That was the first meditation app that I used actually to get into meditation for the first time years ago. And I found that that was the one that really helped me like understand it. Um, anyway, so uh, if you're looking to get into that, I find that to be very helpful, but try to find like little moments of peace. So guys, I will catch you in a vlog uh, very soon. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.